Hey, greetings, Bread Four family. This is Jay. I just wanted to start off by saying, hey, um, I would guess you guys have noticed that we haven't posted any videos here in a while. It's been crazy busy. Uh, my wife and I, uh, we didn't have a baby, but no. <laughs> um, we moved, switch houses. Um, Justin, guitar player, uh, he had the same thing going on, doing some housing swap. Dan, you know, he's swapping houses and moving and stuff. And then Phil, uh, his full-time job is pretty much just being awesome. And so it's been been pretty busy. The new album came out uh, not too long ago. And yeah, it's just been just been nuts. Um, but we're going to try and start getting some more videos up. And tonight I'd like to do a special video um, back in the Bread for War kitchen. And let's go ahead and go inside and let's see what's going on. All righty. I'm here in the Bread for War kitchen and we got a special surprise for you. So tonight I was looking for something a little bit spicy. Um, and I thought I would like to have a spicy habanero surprise. Now many folks are thinking habaneros, are those actually spicy? Uh, no. Habaneros are a weak sauce. They're not spicy. I think they're amazing, have great flavor, but they're not what I would consider a hot pepper. Um, they're like, a Skittle or an M&M. m, &M is much better. They're like an m, m Fantastic flavor, a little bit of crunch to them. Um, they go good on anything. Literally, you can put an m, &M on anything and it would be better. Uh, sort of like a habanero, anything. But it's, is an m, m hot? No, it is not hot. And a habanero, is it hot? No, it is not hot. So, you know, that's what we're working with. So tonight we're going to talk about how to make a habanero spicy. I wanted a reaper and we don't have any right now. I've just got some habaneros. So what we're going to start with is a fresh habanero. Then we're going to take some reaper squeezins um, from our friends down at Puckerbutt. And we've got some Carolina reaper powder that also comes from Puckerbutt. And then we've got some tincture. This is the Clementine Calamity, and it is our friend John McBride that kind of made it, gave it to us. Actually, his wife, I guess, also helps and says John and Denise Bride. Okay, we were just pausing for station identification and commercial break. Oh, we didn't have any. No one's sponsoring this video. No one's giving us any money. If you would like to, you can, but yeah, you don't have to. Anyway, so we're going to take our habanero and we're going to wash it because I believe in washing food, I guess. Alrighty. So I've got that down. I'm going to find a knife. Um, any knife that'll cut it will do. Um, this one, our work. So we got this going on. Okay. So I'm going to flip this around so you can see what goes. Wow. I have a camera over here. Let me flip this around and see what's going on. All right. So we are going to start. I don't know how to hold this. But it's just a phone I'm using. No camera people in the house. They're just a phone. All right. We're going to do this. This looks great. So we're going to take our habanero. We're going to cut the tip off. Just the tip. All right. We're going to put that to the side. We're going to keep that for later. Now... Can you see that? Oh, shoot. That looks so good. All right. Now, you can take anything to ream that out with. Hey, you know what? Let's cut a little more off the end. Make that hole a little bit bigger. Oh, that looks, that looks so much better. So, let's open that up. Open that. Okay. Oh, that's good. That is beautiful. All right. Next thing we're going to do is take our reaper powder. Let's take that reaper powder and go ahead and put some reaper powder in there. All right, that ought to be a good start. Then we're gonna take our reaper squeezins and you can tell we like this. Reaper squeezins are good. That bottle's almost empty. It's fantastic stuff. It's in, basically the ingredients are 
reaper peppers, distilled vinegar, and reaper powder. So we're going to take the reaper squeezins, and we're going to fill that habanero up with reaper squeezins, just like that. All right, I'm going to take another knife. Uh-oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, we'll scoop that up. Put that back inside. Oh, this is getting messy. Getting messy. No one ever said cooking was unmessy, though. All right. Put all that back in there. Shove that down inside. Ah, oh, that looks pretty good. Now, we're going to take this tincture. That tincture right there. We're going to take it. going to go ahead and load it up all right a whole vial full of that tincture in there that ought to be good hey guys I made it an error on speech I wasn't thinking I freaked out I panicked when I said vial what I meant was eyedropper I didn't put in the whole container of the tincture uh, just an eyedropper full it's one of those things that you know you get a little nervous you get shaken up and it's like ah what am I supposed to say it's sort of like why I had to read John McBride on the label. I don't know why. I've known him. We've been friends. He's been great friends with the band uh, for at least five years, somewhere in the ballpark. Um, but anyway, these things just happen. So apologize about it. Continue the video. Now we're going to take, just for good measure, a little more of the Reaper powder. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, and if you've got little sissy girly hands, uh, you might want to wear gloves or something like that. All right, I've got some more powder in there. Now, we'll take these that we cut off and we'll put it back together because that's beautiful. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's fantastic. Look at the presentation of that. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful stuff. All right, now we'll flip it around. And now that we've got our Concoction, this is what we call a spicy habanero surprise. So we'll take this guy and then we'll go and just straight up eat it. As you see, I got the little end cut off, so we will just enjoy that. Oh, good stuff. All right, swallow this. Mmm. That is a spicy habanero. All right, so that's how you spice up a habanero. Make it spicy. Now, just wiping off my fingers a little bit. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to talk about some stuff. So, that's good. That's good stuff. Got the light on. So there's a lot of people out there that seem to be into like spicy challenges, food challenges, things like that. They're like, oh, have you done this spicy challenge, that spicy challenge? I'm like, I don't really do spicy, spicy challenges. Oh, I've got the hiccups. That's good. I hit the spot. Um... So pardon me if I have some hiccups. It happens with when you throw in a bunch of extracts and tinctures and things like that. Um, so some guys will hit me up and say, hey, have you done this challenge, that challenge? I don't really do challenges so much. Uh, there's a good friend of mine, Steve Chrisman. Uh, he likes doing challenges. And every once in a while, he'll buy you know, double, a double challenge to do. And I'll do it with him. But I don't just go out and buy challenges and and do stuff like that. Not because I don't like it. It's just not really my thing. All right. Moving some boxes out of the way. So like I said, we're just finishing moving and things are a little weird. All righty. I'd like to share with you. So this is some of my hot sauces 
this is what has to be refrigerated. Um, now I've got a bunch more that do not have to be refrigerated. So I just like, I like spicy stuff. Um, as you can see, most of these have been used. In fact, I've used a little bit of all of them. And every single one of these, I can't say every single, a bunch of these are, this is the second or third bottle of it. And there's a bunch of bottles that I have that are, you know, don't have to be refrigerated. And so those I don't have in the refrigerator. But, let me put it to you this way. I like hot stuff. I like spicy stuff. As of right now, there's nothing I haven't been able to eat or handle. Um, sure, things will bring sweat to me, tears to my eyes. Never thrown up yet. Um, nothing's ever kicked my tail, if you will. So this is my challenge to you. If you want to bring something to any show we play, and you want to bring a challenge, and it's hot stuff, I'll eat it. I'll do it with you. There's three rules. One, you've got to do it with me. Two, it's got to be after we play, not before. Because if I have ill effects and start, you know, having some issues, I've still got to be able to play. And three, there's a good chance I haven't eaten all day. So you've got to bring at least two pieces of bread. So I'm not doing it on an empty stomach. So that's my challenge to you guys. Any show, any time after the show, you bring something stupid hot and spicy, something you made, I will do it with you. I won't do it on my own, but if you do it with me, I will do it. Anyone, anytime, right after our show, I'll do it with you. But you've got to do it with me. It's got to be after we play, and you got to bring at least two pieces of bread or something so I'm not hitting it on an empty stomach, because I don't care who you are how tough you think you are. If there's something with a lot of extract in it and it hits an empty stomach, you're going to have issues. And I'm going to have issues too, I'm sure. But anyway, that's what I got. Um, if you guys want to, try the recipe, the spicy habanero surprise. Um, I kind of invented it just now, and it was good. It was spicy. Um, anyway, that's all I got. So have a wonderful evening. More videos will be coming um, to you coming to you, be coming to you, coming to you there on their way in the future. Anyway, God bless. Take care. We love you, my friends. And anyway, the challenge has been thrown down. Hopefully you accept and bring something stupid hot and I'll join you with you. Take care, my friends. Bye.